Now in the red and the black, we have this very complex shot of a spaceship flying over the bridge. There are a lot of elements we had in here. We started with uh, uh, a flyover, which was uh, a, an element that was actually suspended from a crane. You can actually see the arm of the crane carrying this thing. It's a big light box, in essence. We then wanted to, to reverse it so it would be easier to work with. So we did a little reverse act. You look carefully, see the crane? You can see the roof and all sorts of things. All those are going to have to be painted out. Uh, to, f to fly over for, uh, for computer generation, we had to track it. And very slowly, we marked these little spots at a little tracking point so we know exactly where we can follow the, uh, the, the path of the ship. These are all little fine fine-tuning marks that go together to make a shot that's only three seconds long come to life. This was a little uh, computer-generated image of the ship that we used as a, as a template. Now I had to paint out the, uh, the, the, the rest of the set and the crane on the right went through and literally uh, eliminated it in the, what they call the paint box. Now we tracked that original C that CGI shot that we made, we tracked it in there so it would, uh, it would match the movement, that was what the tracking movement were for. And we had to hold out the areas that, uh, that we didn't need, so we created what we call a mat. You can see here was a mat for the, uh, for the ship. We wanted the, the rays of the ship to kind of pulsate, so we created those as a separate issue. And here you can see a very bright, that's just the ray plate by itself. Now we had to composite it together with the CG part. And uh, finally, we started to see a ship take place. We put the bridge and the light rig back on top of it, and it's starting to look more like a uh, like a like a complex shot of a spaceship coming in with all the elements added together. I'm saying it's starting to look pretty good there. A lot of subtleties.